So, who wants an iPad 3? Today's the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, we're here on Tuesday with a couple posts on Mac rumors. I thought I would take the request and go ahead and talk about the iPad 3 uh, event that hasn't technically been Apple.com confirmed, uh, but at this point we are pretty certain it's going to be March 7th, which I believe was a Wednesday when I checked this out. March, iCal. March 7th, iPad 3 event. See, I've already got it on there. Wednesday, March 7th. We'll hear what Apple has in store for the next generation iPad. The first iPad came out around uh, April 3rd, I think it was, 2010. Second iPad was earlier. It was in March. I actually got mine just about a week before we went on vacation, March, I think, 19th. So this year, it looks like we're going to be in about the same time frame, early March. We'll hear uh, what the device is going to have. I made a video about a month ago talking about what I'm expecting. Uh, not a lot has changed since then. Um, I'm not going to go as in-depth as I did before, but I'll talk about uh, the big couple things here. One of which is the Retina display. We all hoped for this last year with the iPad 2. Uh, what the Retina display is, is a very high resolution. It's about 300 to 325 or so uh, DPI, which is dots per inch. Here on the iPhone 4S and the 4 as well, uh, we have a 326 DPI display. Um, essentially, you have 326 pix pixels in a square inch. It's very high resolution. It's called the Retina display because the human eye can see about 300 pixels per square inch. So this is an amazingly beautiful display. You can't see any pixels in it. It's very high resolution. On the iPad 3, it looks like we're going to be getting a similar high resolution 300 plus dots per inch display. Uh, which will be about twice the resolution we're working with now. The current resolution on the 9.7 inch iPad 1 and 2 is 1024 by 768. This one has been doubled exactly from what I can see here in this post to 2048 by 1536. Um, so that would be twice the horizontal and twice the vertical uh, amount of pixels. So it would be an amazingly high quality, beautiful display. You'd never be able to see the pixels on it. And that's my biggest complaint right now with the current iPad, which I hope is right here. Um, right now, it's a nice display. The colors are great. It's beautiful and glossy, but you get right close up to it and up right close to it, whatever. You can see every display that the pixel consists that the every pixel that the display can uh, consists of. Um, if you don't own an iPhone 4 or a 250 to 300 plus DPI display, you probably don't notice it. But once you get used to using an iPad and you pick this up, you look at it and honestly, it looks kind of cheap in comparison. So hopefully we'll be able to see that display. I think that's hopefully at this point a given. Uh, obviously, pros, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it just looks better. Cons, it's going to be a pain in the ass for developers to sit down and scale their application, um, every frame in their application to two times the width. Uh, so that, may, that means we may see um, the original iPad display, if this were an iPad 3, would only take up about a quarter of the, of the screen. So uh, we'll have to see where that goes. The next thing, uh, the A6 processor. iPad 1 was an A4. It was a solo core 1 gigahertz chip. iPad 2 is an A5. It's a dual core 1 gigahertz chip. And there's rumors that we're going to have a A6 processor, which is rumored to be a quad core chip. If we see that, I don't think it would be a quad core 1 gigahertz. That's incredible. If it is, it would be uh, underclocked to 6 or 800 megahertz. It could be an 800 megahertz chip underclocked to 6 or something like that. Uh, so we'll expect it to be faster and better looking in terms of the display. Uh, along with those two things, we may see um, 4G LTE networking. That seems to be huge right now. And I know I, firsthand, I've talked to a lot of people that did not buy an iPhone 4, not only because of the smaller screen, um, but because it's still running on 3G service, which is nowhere near as fast as 4G. At least that's what they say. 3G in my area is very quick, and I have no complaints with 3G whatsoever. However, keeping up with the trends and moving forward with technology, we should expect uh, 4G from a high-end company like Apple. So I would say we are going to see it on the iPad 3, and of course later this October with the iPhone 5 or 6 or 4 double S or whatever the hell that's going to be called, uh, I would expect to see it there as well. Uh, so stay tuned next Wednesday. Uh, there's been no official release launch from Apple that this is the event. Uh, supposedly it's been confirmed here from Loop Insight uh, with a yep from somebody there who uh, has known sources inside Apple. So uh, I put it on my calendar. So obviously I think it's going to happen. Uh, if and when it does, it'll be 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Uh, here on the East Coast time zone. Anyways, uh, so that's what we're looking at with the iPad 3. It'll be available in black and white. They'll probably keep the same sizes and the same price points of 1632 and 64 gigs with Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and 3G. Um, two more things, the cameras. I really hope that the cameras are changed on this device. 
Yeah, the iPad 2 got cameras. Here's what most of you don't know. The iPad 2 got crappy cameras. The one on the front is, uh, I believe, a 1.3 megapixel or VGA camera. It's very low quality. And the one on the back is just as bad or worse. It is embarrassingly bad that they would put a camera in a device this high quality uh, from a company like Apple, the most valuable company in the world with their stock over 500 a share right now that they would put this kind of camera in the rear of the product, but they did. And I'm really hoping that the iPad 3 um, would include the same cameras found on the iPhone 4S. The 8 megapixel camera in the back, come on, if it fits in here, it'll fit in there, as well as the, I think it's a 1.3 camera on the front for FaceTime. So they've got to do that, as well as the other three things I talked about. And then, I don't know what's up with these rumors about uh, an 8-inch iPad. When the iPad came out, Steve Jobs made it very clear that he thought there was room between an iPhone or an iPod Touch and a MacBook Pro. Um, and that's where the iPad fits, right here where my face would be. And adding an 8-inch iPad, or an iPad Mini, as it's called in this article here on Mac Rumors, I'll put the links to both these articles I'm using for the video down below, I don't think it fits. I don't think it would sell. I think it would be a waste of production time. However, with all of the rumors that we've heard, maybe they will. Maybe they'll talk about it in March and then say it's coming out later, or maybe they'll just bring it out right now in, in March. However, if they're still talking with suppliers, it sounds to me like this is going to be later off, maybe in an iPad 4 or uh, released with the iPhone 5 in October or sometime in the summer. I wouldn't want one. I think the point of buying an iPad is to have a tablet, a larger screen, um, I just don't think that it would be useful to cut the display of this thing by two inches. I know a lot of tablets are smaller than this, um, so maybe they want to compete with that market, but only time will tell with that as I slam mine down on the table. No damage. Uh, so with that, I will plan on purchasing, I am planning on purchasing an iPad 3. I'll probably do black 32 gig Wi-Fi, exactly what I have right now. If anybody's interested in purchase, purchasing this, I'm asking about 375. I am flexible on that. Send me a PM, comment on the video, email me, ryan at techinform.us. Um, I've got a smart cover with it. I have the box, the cable, everything it came with, uh, including the receipt, actually. I probably have that somewhere. So if anybody's interested, um, please contact me there. I'll, I'll, I'm willing to work with you. Uh, and I am looking forward to the iPad 3 and whatever whatever it will bring. I'll make a video if we hear an official um, announcement or any more news, uh, any more big news about this. But leave your thoughts and comments below what you want and expect from an iPad 3. If you're going to buy one, um, tell me a joke. Tell me something down below. Let's make this uh, enjoyable. So uh, with that, happy Tuesday. Again, happy Valentine's Day. And I'll talk to you guys later this week in a future video. Thanks for watching.